Hey guys, and welcome back to more Let's Play Mass Effect. Last video, we infiltrated the base a bit and took out a lot of Solarian scientists and uh, Krogans and also found some of the indoctrinated team uh, that Kira Hay was talking about. Um, unfortunately, they are pretty much unsalvageable, unsavable. There was one that we went ahead and let go, but uh, other than that, it's kind of a no-go. So let's continue on. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Who are you? Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Ranath the Noptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't Remember worth Remember that name, Ranath the Noptis. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ranath here is gonna pop up, um, in the second and third game, actually. We'll see her and have a little conversation with her in the second game during a, a certain mission. And in the third game, she's uh, mentioned in uh, Codex, but we'll get to that when we actually get to the games. It's interesting to see how she kind of, mm, for lack of a better word at the moment, develops throughout this series. So, yeah. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Are we good? You kind of seem to have, uh, went invisible. I don't know if the experiments are doing good for your existence, I guess. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? I love how they're having a conversation by not strong. looking at each other. You much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. All right, get out of here. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh, I'm dead serious. Ah. You enjoyed that, Commander. Maybe a little bit. You're starting to know me, Garrus. You're starting to learn, my friend, my buddy boy. You're starting to know. <laughs> anyway. The indoctrination stuff is actually quite interesting. So if you stay in the vicinity of uh, Sovereign, or, well, as we'll learn any Reaper, really, you start to get indoctrinated, and it can happen over the course of a long time. She said over the course of maybe a few days or weeks, but actually it can be, it can go, it can span, like, years, actually. Like, the indoctrination can be that subtle. Which is interesting because it plays into a shepherd here, depending on how you want to uh, interpret the story throughout the series. I'll get more to that when we hit the third game. 
because it's a lot more relevant then but I, I don't know I'm just I'm trying to plant seeds here if you haven't noticed just to you know mull over throughout my uh, let's play of this series huh, that's a that's a that was an interesting face I had like coon eyes Oh yes, this is a special room. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden brought. Yes, it is. Man, I'm gonna be brain dead after a while if I don't be careful with these beacons. And that's that! Let's get going, everybody! Ha ha ha! It's all good. What? This is not good. You are not Saren. <laughs> that is a is definite that? positive. Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind. Fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. The, 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 the ship? Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. No way, man. We'll stop you s s somehow. Whatever your plan is, it's gonna fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. A cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them, the legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us! Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out! What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. 
Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Uh, okay. Commander, we got trouble. What? What is it? Hit me, Joker. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. Oh. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console's been disabled. Orders, Commander. Uh, we've got to go. Let's go. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. I think we made him mad. <laughs> Which isn't a good thing in this case. We, we're not ready to fight a reaper. Let me tell you that. Well, let's head on out of here. So, Sovereign. <laughs> Sovereign is actually, uh, I guess I would say, my favorite Reaper. Just because he's just so intimidating. Like, that voice. Hostile spotted. And what he told, and the uh, what he tells Shepard, and and the way he delivers everything, like what is with these textures? Jeez, like it's just so great, especially compared to other Reapers that Shepard ends up interacting with. Okay, stuff's going down, and we're gonna have to go ahead and cut the video off right here, guys. Uh, this one's a bit short, but I don't want to get into too much other stuff, uh, so I'm gonna cut it off right here, and catch you guys later.